Hello and welcome to today's video. I am Crystal Ann Compton and I am so pleased to be with you today and I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today. I'm in Texas. That's where I am. Now, I wanted to have some fun today and look at a Reddit post that I recently found and ask the eternal question, what is up with that? What is up with that? We're going to ask that question and we're going to get into it. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you to please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, do all the social things wherever you are watching or listening to this because it really does help me in my work and especially in the algorithm. And let me tell you something, I need all the help that I can get. So thank you in advance. Okay, so what is up with that? Well, let me show you this post that I found on Reddit and let's read it together. The post reads as follows. This happened a few years ago. I was on a dating site and matched with an attractive person. So I started chatting. We made it to the plans tonight part of the conversation. And she told me she was going to play hide and seek with Fluffy, pointing out the item in their second profile picture, which was a bloody rabbit mask. Uh, okay, let's be weird. So I played along until she mentioned that they would be playing in my basement. I thought, how in the hell? A wild guess, probably. I lied and told her I didn't have a basement. Immediately, she texted, oh yeah, and I heard Snickle Fritz booming from the basement. And I won't lie to you, Reddit. I about myself. <laughs> Obviously, I blocked her and I froze for an hour before I gathered the courage to check my completely enclosed from the outside basement. I didn't find anything, thankfully. I didn't have a smart device at all. And I didn't have any speakers that could have been hacked. I didn't even have wireless internet at the time. The basement was completely empty. I cannot explain it in the slightest. Oh, indeed. What is up with that? Well, I have a couple of theories. Do you want to hear them? The first theory I have is that this person with the rabbit mask projected themselves into this person's space. And this is something actually called bilocation, which is well documented. Bilocation is when we send our energy to a specific space or place. And depending on how strong our energy is, and also how sensitive people are in the space we're projecting into, those people there can actually see us. So this person with the bloody rabbit mask, could have sent her energy. She could have been very strong in that way. And maybe, maybe she was into the intuitive arts, the magical arts, and she just thought that would be something funny to do. It's not unheard of, and I can see it happening. Now, the second thing that might have happened is this person, upon hearing that this person was going to play in his basement, actually caused the phenomenon to happen himself. And you would think, well, how's that really possible? Well, it is possible. It's called poltergeistic activity. A poltergeist isn't a ghost per se. It's not an entity. It is an energy that starts within us. It is inside of us that we project out into our space. So many haunted houses are not actually haunted by ghosts. They're haunted by the people living in those houses who are endlessly projecting out these poltergeistic or thought form energies causing these different evidences. So if this person got spooked and started embodying some frightening or fearful energy and was also strong in this, he could have projected that evidence into his own basement. Now, which one do I think, ha which one do I think actually happened? I think it's probably more likely that this bloody rabbit mask person was the one who bilocated. Kind of feels to me like a bit of a setup. Having that picture on her dating profile is probably an indication that she kind of wants to put it out there that she's into some strange things and maybe she's looking for people to toy with. And the whole tone of that conversation sounds like this person is actually toying with him. So I believe she probably bilocated. And I also believe it happened and he heard it and that it's entirely possible. But that's just my opinion. What's up with that? What do you think? Have you ever had a situation where somebody sent you something through the cords? Oh, 
don't get me started. So many things have traveled to me through the cords from ex-boyfriends who had strong and wonky energy and would send creepy entities into my bedroom to friends who would travel through the cords and visit me at night and say hello to me via bilocations. So what about you? Have you ever had an interesting experience like that? If so, and even if not so, drop down into the comments section, share, or let me know what you think about this snickle fritz. What is up with that? All I know is it's very creepy. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out with me in this video. And until next time, never forget that I have got nothing but love for you. Bye, guys. <laughs>